All right, here is the science behind the space pen. Pay attention because we're going to go fast. This is the refill diagram. I have one in my hand here. You can see on the end the refill is sealed, which is indicated here by the gas plug. The ink inside of this pen is very thick, like chewing gum. They call it viscoelastic. This gas, nitrogen, 50 psi of, of nitrogen is forced being separated by this ball float, which separates the ink from the gas area. That is being forced against the ink through the shaft of the refill, which is indicated here. That's where the ink would be coming through to this ball point, which is made to literal tolerances of three millionths of an inch with the sides where the ball fits into, the ball housing made to tolerances of two ten thousandths of an inch. Stainless tungsten steel. Now, when we look at the surface of the ball point, you'll see it's very rough. This is a, a microscopic shot of the ball point. The topography is extremely rough and when the surface of it, you'll see it's a cylindrical groove pattern. Now this is very important because when this ball makes contact with a stationary surface, which is paper, it creates friction. That friction, heat, is what breaks the chain polymers of this ink and causes it to write. That's why a space pen will write through water, dirt, grease, upside down, on shiny surfaces like glass, and in freezing temperatures down to minus 20, we've seen it literally down to minus 50, and extreme temperatures of over 300. Again, we've written with them after they've gotten out of a pizza oven at over 475 degrees. This is the most precise, the most extreme writing instrument made in the world.